All right, so just moments ago, the Washington Post put out a report. Look at the title. The sleeper cells have awoken. Trump and age shaken by resistance, op-ed. The sleeper cells in our government. All right, joining us with a reaction to this breaking news, author of the bestseller, Why We Fight, Recovering America's Will to Win, Fox News National Security Strategist, Dr. Sebastian Gorka, also author, brand new book, just out today. You can get your copy. Mad Politics, <laughs> Keeping Your Sanity in a World Gone Crazy, which it is. Dr. Gina Loudon is with us, also a uh, Donald Trump for President 2020 Media Advisory Board member, full disclosure. You know, I'm thinking about this. We, we aired in my opening monologue, crisis to crisis to crisis to crisis to crisis. We had two this week, Woodward, and now we got this crazy, anonymous, gutless, cowardly New York, whoever the person is that they posted. Yeah. There is a madness to this, and, and your background and your book discusses this derangement, what do we call it? Well, yeah, Trump derangement syndrome. I mean, Sean, that's what most people have called it to this point. But my book actually uses science and real data and true psychological theory to explain why it is quite possible that this president is the most sound-minded person to ever occupy the White House. Oh, you, you are just, you, you, literally liberals' heads are going to explode at <laughs> what you just said. right now. Oh. And that's the fun part of the madness is just watching them go crazy yeah. over the fact that he's really pretty Unfazed by them, and I believe that, and I know. And him. that's what drives them nuts. And that's what drives them. Mike crazy. McCurry wrote an idea. Oh, the best thing you can do for Trump is just ignore him. Here's what I want to know. I say they're like drug addicts in the media. They wake up every day and they're like addicts. And if they don't get their fix, their their fixation, their hate for the day, they break out into sweats and they go into convulsions eventually. They've yeah. got to have their drug. Hating Trump is a drug to them. Yeah, and we have to watch it, you know, spewed across our television or written into clickbait headlines every single day. And that's why, you know, books like mine that just tell the truth and take an honest approach using science, using, uh, you know, you look at Woodward's book, for example, Sean, Woodward doesn't know the president. I don't know how many graduate courses he's taken in psychology, but, but you I don't do know many. The, you do know the president. Yeah, I do. And I know his family, and I know the people around him. I've seen him relaxing in what I like to call his natural habitat of Mar-a-Lago. I've seen him in the White House. And, and you know him, and you know how focused he is, how much he's enjoying his job, how he is, not, he is and how unaffected he is by that. That's the thing that really stands out. And Dr. Gorka, you worked in the White House. And uh, Gina's right. He's not affected by this. He, he engages and he fights. And maybe some people don't like his style. Okay, I can live with that. But when he's fighting for America and we're paying 70 cents of every dollar for NATO and he lowers that burden, and when he tells our allies they're not going to abuse us with horrible trade deals, and he's negotiating with little rocket man and he's winning and no more rockets are going over Japan, um, that's a good fight that the American people are manufacturing jobs coming back. We're winning. What the left-wing snowflakes will never understand, Sean, <laughs> is that he loves yeah. this. He loves the fight. He is a brawler, and he always wins. Two examples. For months, he's been talking about fake news and the conspiracy to constantly attack him. And the media, the mainstream media, denies it, denies it, denies it. And what happens? Ten days ago, 300 newspapers have a coordinated conspiracy to attack him, and they do it overtly. For a year and a half, we've been talking about the deep state, the deep state, the deep state. And CNN and everybody else says it's bogus, it doesn't exist. What happens today, Sean? We have the op-ed in the the New York Times, we have the article in the Washington Post where they say, yes, we are the deep state. We are proud of it. And I'd like all your viewers to look up the word sedition in, the, in their dictionary. Go to the Merriam-Webster's and look it up. Sedition. It is the overt or covert subversion of a constitutional lawful authority. And that's the, what these people are doing. The they must be rooted out. They must be fired. They really do want to destroy him. There's no doubt this is what they want to do. Well, they're desperate because he's taken away their very cushy lifestyles, their power, and their money, or at least he's threatening to by, uh, you know, cleaning house, which is exactly why the American people elected him, Sean. And mm -hmm. I think the American people are realizing that more and more. That's why his, his uh, popularity has increased so much with minority voters, for example, because they're seeing the results of a president who is focused, who is interested in making all They never all talk Americans about that, equal. Dr. Gore, they never told a good story. 
No, of course they can't, because they still think that Hillary should be the president. They didn't win the election. Look at what they're doing in the Kavanaugh hearings. They will use every underhanded way to subvert this president, but they will never win because he's never going to give up on America, okay. Sean. No way. Congrats on the success of your book, Dr. Morgan. Really by the way, there you go. Sean congrats. Andy. I know. Forward. Congratulations. Uh, we're proud of you. Good luck. Um, and the book is out today. Yep. Amazon.com, all over bookstores.